In this video, we'll be learning about windows snapping. If we want to arrange multiple windows on a desktop screen, you can use windows snapping. That's a new technique which is available in windows 10 operating system. Let us see that. Now for this windows snapping, I'll give you a shortcut method also. I'll give you a long cut method. But for shortcut method, you have to use a key from a keyboard. The name of the key is windows key. How does it look like? For your reference, I have downloaded image and I'll show you how does a windows key look like. Remember, it looks like this windows icon on a keyboard. So I'll just show you the image here. On your keyboard, if you see that's a windows key here and you have to use this windows key for windows snapping. Let us see that. So I'll just close this part. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll open any one window. Let's say if I open this, this PC shortcut, I'll double click and open. By default, you'll be getting this kind of window here. Now, if you want to minimize, you can use the first option. If you want to make it a smaller size, you can use the second option. So if I click on this place, this will get minimized or you can see as, uh, the, the size of this window will get reduced. Again, if you click on this place, it will get maximized. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, reduce the size of this window using a shortcut key, you can use from a keyboard windows down arrow key. So if I press windows down arrow key, it will reduce the size. Again, if you press windows down arrow key, it will get minimized. Same way, same way, if you want to open it, you can just click on this place. Now it will get maximized. This was down arrow key. What if you press windows left arrow key? So if you press windows left arrow key, it will take the left screen. Now, even if you want to divide this, into two parts so if you want you can take it up if you want you can bring it down so just press windows down arrow key you have to just click on this heading and then press windows down arrow key again if you want the same thing on the top you have to press windows up arrow key windows up arrow key so it will take the upper portion itself like this same way if you want on the right hand side you can just press windows right arrow key if you want on the downside, you can press windows down arrow key like this. Now it has taken the entire screen. If you want, you press windows down arrow key. Sometimes it doesn't work. So you click on this place, windows down arrow key. So it will come down. This is the one method by which you can use from your keyboard. Suppose if you find that thing are difficult, you can use your mouse, click on this heading part. Okay. And like this. You can just click on the title bar like this and you can bring it on the right hand side corner. Once I bring on the right hand side corner, if you observe, there is an outline given on the top. So if you leave in the outline, it will take that much space. I'll show you once again. I'll just click on this place and if I take on the right hand side corner and if you see there's an outline which is drawn in this place, that means it will take that much space on your screen. So I'll leave it and if you see it has taken. Same way, if I bring it down like this, I'll just click on this place, bring it down. Now, if you observe, it has taken half of the screen. So if I leave it, it will take half of the space on the screen. Remember, what is the method? You have to click on this place, click on the title bar and drag it to the corner, any corner of your screen. So I'll just click on this place. And if I drag it on the corner, so if you see, it has taken half of the screen, one fourth of the screen itself. Similarly, you can use your mouse key. I can use my touch screen here. Now, this is one method. Another method is if you want to use the third method, if you want to use multiple windows side by side, how do you do that? So for that, what I have to do is I have to open multiple windows. This was the first window, second window, double click and third window. So by double clicking, I'll be getting the third window also. These are three different windows. If I want them side by side, I can arrange it manually like this, this way, but it would be difficult for me. See, it's difficult for me to arrange it. So what I can do is I can take help of the taskbar. Just right click on your taskbar like this, right click on your taskbar using your mouse. And if you see, there's an option given as show windows side by side. So if you click on this show windows side by side, all three windows or all the open and activated windows will be shown as side by side, right? If you do not want this windows side by side, you can just right click on this place and you can say the option as 
undo show all windows side by side so then it has been removed it has said as control z kind of the third option right click on the screen and you can say show the desktop that means all the windows will get minimized and the entire desktop will be shown i'll just click on that place show the desktop and finally the desktop screen has been shown here right so i hope you're able to understand the three different methods for showing the windows snapping one is using a shortcut second is just drag in to the corner part and the third one is using the taskbar you can arrange the windows side by side i hope you have understood that's all for this video